comics that you were influenced by growing up? Like, what did you read when you were growing up? Every comic that was published in the 1980s. <laughs> um, so, like, it, Marvel or DC? Both. By the late 80s, I was reading pretty much every Marvel and DC book there was. I kind of tapered off a little bit in the 90s, and then came back a little bit for Image Comics, and then tapered off again. I'm reading a lot of e-comics now, but I was like started out with X-Men. X-Men was where it all started. Claremont era X-Men. Claremont X-Men, and then I uh, moved on to New Mutants, which was the spin-off uh, from the X-Men. Yes, yes. Well, the Bill Sienkiewicz when he was drawing. Yeah, yeah, that was. Those are fantastic books. What about Rom Space Knight? I even have a few issues of Rom Space Knight. A friend of mine had a Rom action figure. I had the Rom action. Figure. Oh well, there you go. That's hardcore. I I'm a lifelong comic fan. And I was like, oh, I've read 10,000 comics. How hard can it possibly be to write a comic? And I realized it's a very different skill set. It took me a while to kind of hit my stride. I'm very happy with how this one shot, Red Sonja Blue, came out. And then the ongoing series, Red Sonja Unchained, which just finished. Uh, I kind of think I hit my stride in the middle of that and really started to get comfortable with the process. The greatest thing about this, we do this signing every year where we give away the first book and when people come back and say, I got a free book last year and then I went and bought the others because I loved it so much, like that's the most amazing thing to hear and like it's, it, it happens every year and it's a wonderful feeling every time. What's your writing process like? <laughs> uh, I have a very meticulous writing process. I plan out everything in advance. My, my, I call it a step sheet. Uh, my file that has all the plot in it is about 200 pages long, you know, for an 800 page book where I have like a long list of this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens. And then I layer on, like, and I do that before I write any of the prose. And so then I start writing the story and I layer in kind of, all right, these things happened. How did the characters feel about that? And, and how did they react to that? And that is like the meat of the story for me. And so, like, I already know everything that's going to happen but the emotional impact of it is something that I kind of discover along the way. It also means that I write a lot slower than other authors. I have to take as long as it takes to do what I think is, is a perfect book, or at least a, a book that's as good as I can make it.